Hello and welcome to this week's top five. It's a special edition of Glass Stars Top Five. I'm Christina Reese. I'm Randy Knudsen. And this is the uh, top five artist residencies in Texas this week. Yeah. We've got we made a list of 29, 30 residencies and did some research. We had some criteria in the glass yeah. tire mode. Number one is the big dollar sign. How much money do the artists get? Yeah. Um, and to me, um, you know, if there's a residency that's like a really uh, a struggle for an artist to do it financially, that's a little bit of a knock against it. But so if they try to make it generous, where artists can really uh, fulfill the utopian ideal of a residency, which is that you get this unfettered time to make your work and you're divorced from the, you know, humdrum day to day life. Then you know the more money they give artists, of course, the easier it is to do that. We looked at um, the reputation, the longevity, the prestige, how much it networks you into either the community itself, whether or not it gives you access to influential uh, curators and thinkers and other artists, mm -hmm. uh, collectors, museums, etc. And, and we looked at what what else do you get besides just money and networking. Do you get a studio? Do you get res? You know, do you get housing? Do you get an exhibition or the choice of having an exhibition? I mean, those types of benefits. What's How much is expected of the artist and how much is given to the artist? So, without further ado, mm. number five on this list is the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft here in Houston, of course. What I really like about this residency is its flexibility in terms of time. Artists can apply for three, six, nine, or 12 months, and so artists who maybe have a job, have a family, have some reason they can't just go somewhere for an entire year, can do it for a shorter amount of time and still get the benefits, and vice versa. Um, there's a monthly stipend of $600 a month, regardless of how long you're there. You get a studio, uh, you get an exhibition, and you get networked into this very nice group of craft enthusiasts and patrons in Houston, and the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft just generally is a really great institution with, they do great shows, mm -hmm. Um, both of residents and other shows. So I'm a big fan of what they do, and I think this is a nice residency. Uh, number four on our list is the CORE program, the CORE Fellowship in Houston. Of course, um, it's got quite a reputation outside of Texas, inside of Texas. It's the part of the Glass Cell School at MFAH. You know, um, my, my impression of it is it's very sort of rooted in the academy, which is that floats some people's boats and not others. Um, that's been a defining feature of it, as far as I'm concerned, for a long time. There's definitely a sense that it's part of the establishment, of course, and some of that has to do with the success of some of their alumni who've just gone to spectacular success in the marketplace, Julie Moretu being sort of exhibit A of that. But the core program is for nine months. You get a studio. You get $15,000 stipend for nine months. Um, that's the good news. The bad news is you're going to have to get a job to survive in Houston because you don't get housing. So a lot of core fellows teach at Glassell, they teach at the University of Houston, they teach at Rice, and I think the core program tries very hard to help connect them with jobs so that they can sort of cobble together a life here. Um, and then they get an exhibition at the end of the year at the Museum of Fine Arts Houston. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I didn't, I was, I thought it was always a two-year program, but in fact, uh, you have the option to just do one year and then you reapply for the second year. And once in a while, someone will just do one year for one reason or another. But number three on our list is Ch is Chinati. It's the Chinati Artist Residence out in uh, Marfa. And you know, this is this has been going on since the late '80s. It's two months, last two months. So they have five to six artists in every single year. Um, I'd say the primary benefit of this, well, there are two or three. One is, you know, the mystique of Marfa, and people like to go out and live and hang out in Marfa. It's a nice, tight knit community. Uh, number two is it, there's just this international roster of people coming in the whole time. You have curators and artists and collectors and. Just, um, you know, you're going to be exposed to some movers and shakers if you're there. And if you live in Marfa for a year or two, you will meet a good chunk of the people that you need to meet from a networking, career building standpoint from New York or L.A. They will come to you because a lot of people come to Marfa. Um, so if that's what floats your boat, you know, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity. If you think you might not be able to hack living in a town of 3,000 people and not everybody can, it would be a little bit harder. But you're in the rugged West Texas landscape. It's Marfa. 
no one's gonna get rich doing this. It's a thousand bucks, but like Shinati's cool. They give you housing, they give you a studio. I, I think it's a great residency. Number two, maybe the coolest residency on this list. It's the Galveston Artist Residency. It's one of the newer residencies. Um, it's extremely generous. You get housing, you get a studio, it's 11 months almost a year, you get $11,000, and you live in Galveston, which of course is right on the coast, 45 minutes down from Houston, right on the Gulf of Mexico. Galveston is a funky, sumpy, weird place, and it's fascinating and really cool and really relaxed in this kind of weird coastal way. And I love the vibe of this residency. Eric Schnell, who runs it, is just great. The staff there is great. The building is great. They do wonderful shows with dinners and music. It's very connected into the Houston art scene to some extent. Mm -hmm. But I also think this is one of the best opportunities if you really want to get away from it all and work somewhere where you're not going to be bothered. This is a really good residency for that. Well, number one is, I don't think people are going to be too surprised by this. It's Art Pace in San Antonio. I mean, it's Art Pace. Yeah, you walk in and you look at that wall of names that have, uh, it's kind of incredible. I mean, talk about reach in terms of reputation. It's, I mean, the curators who pick the artists each session, and then the international artists, the national artists, and the Texas artists. It's just a very cool setup. Some legendary shows have taken place there over the years. Oh, absolutely. It's a three month residency, and they give you, it's very generous. They give you a $6,000 stipend. Mm -hmm just to live on, and then they give you $10,000 to produce your show. So it's one of the most generous uh, residencies in Texas. It's the granddaddy, as you say. I mean, in terms, just pound for pound, if you look at their alumni list, it's the strongest of any residency by far. Mm -hmm. And it's in San Antonio, which kind of similarly to Galveston is a really cool, very relaxed, interesting town to spend time in. Yeah, and the, the, to me, there's some, there's a real kind of liberating, kind of an independence to this, too. The artists come in, they're not guided by any specific philosophy. They get to make the work that they want to make, and then there is a show at the end. There's a payoff. There's a money shot. There's a, ah, let's do this thing. Yeah, it, it was founded, I think, 96. Linda Pace uh, founded it. She based it on Cap Street in San, San Francisco, which, of course, is a legendary early um Residency, and it really was trying to fulfill this utopian idea of giving artists a very special bubble of money and time to produce great work. And there have been some great works produced at Art Pace over the years. Yeah, so uh, check out the list of all 30 uh, residencies. We have the deadlines. Some of them have already passed this year, but they'll be coming back next year. And um, go make some art. Go make some art.